Date, the vehicle is accelerating 2% slower than usual. Did you put anything in the trunk? No. What about the back seat? Back seat? Did I put anything in there? You could have put a gold brick in there and it wouldn't slow us down this much. Have you checked the back seat? Oh, right. But I can't just turn around and look while I'm driving. Just check the rear view mirror. Mizuki! Hey, watch out! Ice forward, stupid! Hey, Date, what would happen if I grabbed the wheel and spun it super hard? We would spend the rest of our very short time together thinking about how stupid that was. Hey Date, why do they call it a dashboard? Because it makes the car go faster. Uh-huh, and why do they call it a tachometer? It measures how many tacos worth of revolutions the wheels spin, because the tortilla is round. Obviously. Is this where you keep your weird stuff? No, oh, but don't look. What are you looking at me for? Watch the road. I always have my head like this when I drive. You were looking forward before. No, I was just projecting an illusion. This is the real me. You project an illusion when you're by yourself? Your neck doesn't hurt doing that? No pain, no gain. What? Adults have to make sacrifices. You'll understand when you're older. I don't think I'll ever understand you. It wasn't locked, I just opened the door. I've been here for like 10 minutes. Why don't your doors have auto locks? I know you like old cars, but you gotta lock the doors. You should be a little more apologetic for someone who just got caught breaking into my car. Mizuki does raise a valid point. If you are not more serious about security, you should consider replacing the car altogether. You too? I 
ditched the hospital. They're probably freaking out over there right now. I'm taking you back. No, don't! Nothing will change if I stay at the hospital all day. You're going to investigate, right? Take me with you, I can help. How is a little runt like you gonna be any help? I'm Renju's daughter. Maybe I'll notice something you don't. Something only his daughter would know. I don't know. My daddy was killed. I can't just stay at the hospital. <sighs> Fine. But don't say I never did anything for you. You're going to take me along? Just promise not to interfere with the investigation. Got it. Well, I can still talk this time. Maybe I'm just getting used to it. Mizuki's psychological wounds have been healed by the sink. If you have nothing to talk about, you don't have to say anything. Fair enough. You're an adult, shouldn't you know that already? If you start talking about the weather, it means you have nothing to say. Damn. What a brat. You were talking to yourself again. I heard you. It's creepy. You should cut that out. Mizuki is still unaware I exist? Yeah, I know there's no reason to hide it, since she already knows about Abyss. But it's just... hard to explain. I won't say anything yet. Understood. But I am ready to be introduced at any time. Just let me know when the time is right. It's not a proposal. No need to be so formal. Shit, I said that out loud. Date, I think you should go to the hospital. No, it's more like I don't like sitting still and moping all day. I've grown out of my brooding, pretentious teenager phase. Odd thing for a preteen to say. Are you not aware of Mizuki's mental prowess? She is far more developed than her classmates. She is even reading psychology papers by Alfred Adler. Sounds pretentious to me. Hey. About Renju. Do you have anything to tell me? Anything at all that might help? Well, it's not about Daddy, but... I heard from Daddy that Mom had a secret. Shoko had a secret? Did you know that Mom was the representative of an investment company? Yeah, I did. That whole company was a big scam. A scam? Well, I don't know the details. They start up a company to get people to invest in it, then shut it down on purpose and keep the money. She got really rich like that. Shoko did this? Yep. By herself? No, dummy. Of course it was with other people. I saw gangsters there sometimes. If she ever got into trouble, she had them take care of it. I am scanning all known crime databases, but I cannot find any reports referencing this. They must have been extraordinarily careful. I'm not okay. So, you want to go back to the hospital? I'd be more than happy to drop you off. That's not what I meant. 
Why are you always so pushy, Date? I'm not pushy, I'm just worried. You've got a weird way of showing it. Doesn't look like you're worried. You're just weird. You've always got something smart to say, huh? You're just like Renju. Date. What about Daddy? Nothing. You have no tact, do you? This is why you're single and always will be. <laughs> That's where you're wrong, kiddo. I look like a single father when you're around. Chicks love it. Yeah, chicks love to see creepy old men hanging out with a sixth grader. Hey! What are you implying? Ooh, did I make you mad? Now I'm stuck in a car with an angry old creepy pervert. I am not an old creepy pervert. And even if you were my age, you're not my type. Ew, I don't want to know about your type! Hey, you started it. Stupid old man. Punk-ass kid. Oh, Detective Date. Good to see you, sir. And this is... Have you looked through the case file yet? Oh, oh, I am so sorry. She's the victim's... Yes, please let us through. Dragon's Palace Pasta, 1800 yen. 1800? Isn't that pretty average? This is average? What are you staring at? Creeper. I agree. Iba, did you get anything from the surveillance camera? Unfortunately, no. All of the recordings from local surveillance equipment have been erased. What about backups? There are none. Nothing was uploaded to the cloud either. Nothing special. Iva, can you check the operation records of this elevator? Searching. Found it. The elevator records are sent automatically to building management. According to the record from yesterday, 
From 6.30 p.m. until the body was found, this elevator stopped on the second floor only once. At 8.55 p.m. The weight of the car's cargo was approximately 310 pounds. Is that a spear? It more closely resembles a harpoon of sorts. I believe this is a trident. Any chance this was used in the murder? No. There are no traces of blood on the trident, and no indication that Renji was stabbed. Um, hmm. You were telling me earlier that you could spot things only a daughter would know. I know what I said. I'll tell you if I notice anything. Hey, are you doing okay? Oh, sorry. Just staring. If you're having a hard time, you can tell me. I'm fine. It's not like the body is lying here. Are you really okay? Yeah, I am. Don't you have an investigation to do? Or are you stalling? I thought I already told you. Sitting around rotting away in the hospital would be worse. Still. I know what you're trying to say. For a little girl to find her dad like that and then want to go back to the scene? You think it's totally weird, right? In fairness, it is also weird for an adult policeman to acquiesce such a request from a child. But this is what I wanted. I didn't want to run away from it. I wanted to confront it. I didn't want... to be weak. Did you hear me? I said I'll tell you if I see anything. How could I forget? I'll never be able to get that image out of my head. Not until the day I die. Jeez, you're pushy. Pushy men are seen as desperate. This is why no one likes you. Besides, Date? Hmm? Never mind. Just do your investigation or whatever. What was she going to say? Now is not the time to worry about such things.
The corpse was strung up near this counter. The autopsy report indicates that the contents of the victim's intestines were excreted upon death. But no traces of that have been found in the area, nor on the corpse itself. This evidence makes it highly likely that Renju was killed somewhere else. Hmm. It must have been considerably difficult to carry more than 150 pounds. What do you mean? Renju weighed approximately 158 pounds. I can estimate a person's weight by analyzing their bone structure, muscle, and fat. Iba, can you recall the time we discovered the corpse? Of course. The autopsy report discovered the presence of benzodiazepine. It is a common sedative. The dosage found in the victim's bloodstream was extremely high. It can be assumed that Renju's cognitive functions were heavily impaired before his death. This case bears similarity to Shoko's. The left eyeball was removed while the victim was still alive. Strangulation? Correct. The face shows clear signs of congestion, along with petechia around the face and throat. Both are clear evidence of asphyxiation. Any indication of the murder weapon? Most likely a twisted piece of cloth. The culprit approached Renju from behind and wrapped the cloth around his neck, choking him in an attempt to suffocate him. The specific cause of death is cerebral circulation failure due to vessel closure in the neck. But more simply, the suspect strangled Renju to death from behind. Do we have an estimated TOD? Yesterday, around 8 p.m. So Renju was murdered about two hours before Mizuki and I found the body. The time of discovery was 10.20 p.m. You of course already know this, but you and Mizuki were the first to discover Renju's corpse. The body was hanged from the ceiling, similar to how a fish would be. A thick hook was embedded in the upper jaw, and the wires connecting to the hook were strung up on one of the ceiling beams. There was also a hook on the other end of each wire. The three beer kegs were attached to these hooks. We have found no fingerprints. What? 
I was asking for your name. My name is Kagami. It's Kagami! Kagami? I told you, it's Kagami! I told you my name like five times! Hey you, what's your name? Seriously? It's Kagami. Stop bugging him, it's rude. Excuse you, my best friend uh, Kagami and I are having a conversation. Yeah, don't spoil our fun. What? No, we didn't find anything today. <sighs> no, not these past few days. I thought so. Once this is over, get some rest, alright? You too, Detective Date. I could use a drink. Perhaps after this is all over, Date. The capacity of this oil drum is 200 liters. It weighs approximately 44 pounds when empty. Let me check inside. There's something inside. This is the oil drum. This is the kind of oil drum that has a lid, right? Correct. Let's open it. This is... This is the wristwatch Renju always wore. No doubt about it. But how did this get here? Each keg has a capacity of 20 liters. All three kegs were filled, in approximately 55 pounds each. I think we've checked everything we need to. I agree. We should compile our evidence and inferences. Mizuki, you ready to leave? What? But we aren't done investigating! What do you mean? There are still people I want to talk to!
Yeah. Oda is in here all the time. He might know something. I'll call him. Oda's phone is broken. He dropped it in a puddle. Sounds like Ota. He's so clumsy. We'd have to talk to him in person. He's probably at Lemna Skater Matsushita Diner. Yeah. Daddy owned Lemna Skate and Iris works for them. She used to work here too. So she might know something. I'll call her. Have any idea where she might be? I don't know. Iris is into a lot of things. Well, there is one place. Have you heard of Golden Yokocho in the Entertainment District? Daddy used to go to a place called Marvel a lot. Maybe they know something about him. Lemniscate, Matsushita Diner, and Marble. Let's head out. Okay. <laughs> 